hi guys welcome back so today i'm gonna be changing differential oil uh, this is uh, the grade of oil i'm gonna be using toyota recommends 7590 but this is what i'm gonna use in my own car uh, you guys can use whatever you guys recommend but this is my personal preference for my own cars uh, it's pretty easy all you gotta do is to remove this uh, shield that is covering the differential so if you if you go under the car and this is the diff right here and coming from the side this is the passenger side this is the drain and that is the fill plug people some people say it's torx 55 which is not true the yeah, torx, torx 55 can work also but the recommended one i would recommend is hex hex bit 10. Uh, so i'm gonna show you guys how i'm gonna open it torx bit can ready you know if it if it slips in this then you got you might have to replace the hole plug so this is not really torx bit this is hex so let me show you guys which one is gonna fit torx 55 and hex 10 are pretty much the same but torx has more uh you know those points so this is 10 millimeter hex bit and you guys can see it fits perfect so i don't recommend using torx bit if you guys are comfortable with torx go ahead use torx but this one is pretty perfect fit so all you gotta do is uh, open the fill plug first and then drain after everybody knows that not gonna waste your time so let me drain this and i'll show you guys how dirty the oil is This is the passenger side, come under. This is the drain bolt, that is fill bolt. Open up the fill bolt first. Keep in mind, this is not Torx 55, okay? This is hex 10 millimeter. People that say it's uh, Torx, maybe their Land Cruiser has Torx, but I'm not sure. But this is 2006 and this this is hex 10 millimeter so let's see if you use a uh, torx in a hex bolt the chances are it might slip you might destroy the bolt pretty clean all right so the drain bolt is back in I don't know how much is the torque I don't really use the torque wrench unless it's something that is very critical I just hand tighten it make sure it's tight enough and it's not gonna come off by itself and let's see this should be done on a flat on a flat surface uh i'm not on a flat surface so i have ramp you guys can do it on flat surface i'm doing mine on a ramp i can see the diff is pretty leveled and uh not really getting too much into the details it's not rocket science very easy check this out Pretty dirty. Can you touch it? 
and I'll let you know how much of this it's going it's going to take. This is the fill plug. The drain plug has magnet on the top. This one has no magnet, so it's very hard to mix. Drain plug. Make sure it has a magnet, black one. It's already in and uh, let's fill it up. I'm, I'm not sure if this comes with a crush washer. I didn't see any. If you guys know it needs a crush washer, go ahead, replace the crush washer. I don't usually replace any crush washers, never failed. I found the crush washer, it was sticking to the body of differential, so it has a crush washer. Both of uh, fill and drain plug has crush washers. I'm not going to replace mine. If you are not feeling good using the old one, you guys can replace it. So let's fill it up now. This is how I'm filling it up. You don't require any special tools or pumps. It's just squeeze it and it's gonna fill up itself. All right, guys, it just took one and a half quart of uh, gear oil. This is a uh, 75W140. That's, uh, Toyota recommends 7590. All right, thank you very much for watching. Bye.